Oh, the never ending projects. Hey, what am I doing now? What am I doing now? I don't know what I'm doing now. I ride the race truck. Gotta go to work. Rain's kind of let up. Got a glimmer of hope, but let's take the race truck, Ram trucks at the uh, shop. So let's ride around the race truck and do some talking. Hey, the adventure begins again, right? Never ending adventures on the Ice Age TV. Oh my gosh, man. Wow. It just doesn't end, man. So let's get out of here before the wife walks out and says, Oh my gosh, you got me on the channel. Be like, no, I didn't. I hid you. You're not gonna see me. You're not gonna see you. You're gonna see me. Isn't that exciting? Yes, yeah, so let's get the hell out of here, right? He just doesn't end. The road, the roads. I live on the roads, man. But I, this truck is so much fun. It really is. Oh, it's the exhaust no time and wow, just the uh the difference of the personalities of all these different vehicles I own and drive. And that's the thing, I'm just in and out of so many different style vehicles makes and brands and i can just tell you the differences because i ride around them I and this this truck here is just truly a really just fun truck and do you hear that exhaust note and so there's the thing like in that ram trx yeah does a kid want more exhaust yes does the ram trx have factory factory exhaust yes only thing i think that guy or gal or whoever owned that vehicle has done that vehicle is they tinted the windows and they did a uh rear rollback cover which i do like that now right now i don't have this car in sport so it's a totally different so i go down here and change the drive modes see here so i drive change these drive modes this car really the truck doesn't really have a lot of personality to it the uh the ford truly um has a huge difference in the way these vehicles drive when you go to different um settings and for me i can't remember which way to go in these things it just doesn't end. Look, I don't know. So here we are at the light. So now we're in sport mode. And that is a huge difference now on this truck's performance. It really does open this truck up and gives it a whole new personality. I mean, to me, it gives the motor more power. And then it gives it a more aggressive uh, shift in the transmission. But do you hear this this exhaust note? So this thing is so much fun. One thing for sure, if I was to get a Raptor R, which I tell you what, I mean that would be badass. But it's just the fact that I'm gonna have to give some good things up. I mean, sincerely, if I go to that Raptor R, I mean, some people like give up this race truck. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I would be more on the page of probably giving up. I guess the Bronco. Would it give up the Bronco Raptor? I don't know. And you know, that's the thing. I just have to think it through. What makes sense? But you know what's interesting is I saw the new Bronco Raptor Ranger. Yeah. Talk about. No. I saw the new Raptor Ranger. Just has been released. Now the car magazines are now out there sharing them and giving their overall view of them. But I've seen now that Shelter, uh, Shelter Green. And it doesn't look very good. It doesn't look like I thought it would look. So maybe in person it looks better. So now I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. So and what's why is Ford holding up that truck that was built on March 3rd? It's now three weeks later, and that truck still hasn't. I mean, I don't know where that truck is in reality. Do I want to know where that truck is? I mean, you know as well as I do. The Ford dealer calls me and they're like, oh my god. This guy just got a rim chair. I mean, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't disagree. It's, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When does it stop? When does the music stop, right? Listen to this truck. Is this truck just a blast or what? It is. And the last time I drove over in the area of driving, I was driving the uh, Dodge Charger Super B. So... Now, yesterday I was talking to the Chevy dealer's owner, really, really smart young guy, and we were talking about the Camaro Z28. We were talking about the Camaro Z28, 2014-15 model, and he said that back like in 2020 or so, the uh, lowest price point happened with those cars. So he thinks that the lowest price point is done, and from this point on, they're going to continue to gain value. 
So he said there were there were high mileage Z twenty eights out there, but most of them were like the thirty thirty thousand dollar range. But he feels strongly that that Z twenty eight that I have that you take care of it, the value of that car is only going to get better. And he said for his dealership it was so bad. He's not they're not a real big volume dealership because they're in a small town and they're just not that aggressive like some of these other dealers, but he didn't even get a ZL1 last year. So for him, the 2024 last run of the Camaros that were delivered really late last year, he didn't get one. He just got a real basic Camaro. So to get a ZL1 right now, if you find a brand new ZL1 right now, uh, I'll be amazed if it isn't a premium price. And those cars there in so many ways, I mean, that's a car there that to me, Maybe it has more value than a Hellcat short term just because there was such a lower production of them. You know, the problem with the Dodge product is there's just so many of them out in the market. And it's just they flooded the market. Dodge just does that. Dodge is notorious, in my eyes, for really needing their high end products. They just build a ton of them. Now, the Ram TRX, I'll say, I'll say this much. Um, they've built a fair amount of them. I don't think they've flooded the market with them. That could change. Uh, the Wrangler 392, once again, I don't think they flooded the market. Um, so those products there, the Jeep Trackhawk, they never flooded the market with those. And I can remember all these forum members always talking about how the Trackhawk, MSRP, right around the corner. Uh, you know, so many people felt that these cars would never sustain their high values. So on the Dodge side, the Challengers and the Hellcats, right? It's always been when they first come out, people pay premium price, then they tank. It's happened numerous times now for the Dodge Challenger and Charger products. But once again, Camaro, the Chevy side, the Ford side, they just don't build a gazillion of these cars. They try to kind of keep it more moderate and tame so that you really do feel like you have a special car and it's not going to be everywhere you drive and go see. All right, there's a guy in a nice Porsche. You know, there's, I mean, I mean, if you think about it, the Porsches, they come from the German, the German side of the world, which, what is that? The rains, the snows. Look at this truck. Is this thing just so much fun? I mean, do you hear this thing? This thing just really... So I got on Carvana, and yeah, Carvana is going to fix that splitter. that are watching my channel. Carvana will... Carvana's already given me the... Uh, the steps that I can take of uploading the photos of the car. It's already been documented. Um, they've already sent me repair service centers that will fix that uh, vehicle. So the good news is there is on the dashboard of Carvana the capability to uh, upload the pictures of the, the car that I took with my phone and submit them to Carvana and then um, reach back out and then uh, give me the go-ahead to go get the front splitter fixed on that Corvette. So how about that, huh? Oh, listen to this beast. I mean, this thing's a beast, man. I mean, once you kind of get her up going down the road, <laughs> listen to this exhaust. This is what I talk about, how it's cool, but I mean, do you want to hear this for hours on end? I guess my kid does, but wow. Is that, like, noisy or what? What is it about trucks? This we call it the truck conversation day. It's all about the trucks, man. I mean, sincerely, that's really where my true beginnings are trucks. I mean, I just love trucks. That's really what I was more fixated on as a kid, was having a cool lifted truck than having a cool car. So, this thing here just bounces down the road. Yeah, the rains have kind of let up a little bit, so, or have they? No, they have. As we do a 150 mile day today, Jesus Christ, it just doesn't end, man. Living behind the wheel of a car. Yeah, because of the lousy weather, the roads aren't too bad, because a lot of people held off going and doing their activities, outdoor activities. Man, oh man, this truck is so much fun. Oh my gosh, it has such the race personality. It is so fun. I mean, I just can't get over how this thing just downshifts and then kind of gets back into it. I mean, uh, 
I know I've done video of this truck, but I haven't taken this truck out in a long ride in a long time. See that? <laughs> I mean, this is just crazy at how this transmission interacts with this truck. <laughs> sick of it yeah 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 oh it's the fun 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 truck i mean i just can't emphasize enough how this truck here whoo i'm busting out i mean it's a rainy day cool day and i know this back end there's nothing back there so i mean this thing here yeah i'm up under a four-wheel drive should be all over the place but i mean listen to this exhaust note I mean, it's just such a free-spirited, fun truck. I know. I know people watch my channel like, yeah, we've heard it enough, man. I know. I hear you, but I'm just sharing the fun. Did I say fun? They ain't having no fun. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're having any fun today. God, that Audi obviously did some serious damage to that vehicle. Wow. Hey, I think we're going to I think as I head back home, head west, I think that uh, we just may get some sunshine before the day's out. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Go pick up the Ram truck when the uh, sun's out, and hopefully the truck's nice and clean for us. Oh, we've gotten into the slow pokies. Not the Sunday driver. It's the Saturday driver. Yeah, we know these stories. All right, we'll get a little attitude up here now because we've got some free spirited driving to do here. You get over in the lanes and move up the road. Hope the, uh, the police guys aren't sitting here. But see us in here? I mean, it's just, oh my goodness gracious. Keep in mind, a kid drove this thing back from Florida. Now, what's this up the way here? See here? So, what the hell is this up the way? Is that a cop? I mean, I have no idea. I don't think so, but at the same time, yeah, so it's just a person. I mean, that's just so, like, oof. So dangerous, the roads, right? back to the main highway and get this little race truck up the road here and head on back in and what will the Ram truck be available right? That'll be the next uh, the next conversation right? Just in here just likes to rumble up the road. Never have a sweet spot with a vehicle. Never just kind of know the vehicle kind of just kind of gets in the groove. Yeah, I think this here is just about the seat sweet spot right here on this vehicle. But this doesn't have adaptive. You know, in some ways, this truck is so much the simple vehicle where it doesn't have a lot of technology. It's technology in it, but not like overkill technology. we're getting on fuel economy 17 18 oh look at that 17.8 let's reset it and see what we can get before we get home how about that idea hey Leo. what are you doing driving the race truck from Columbia Maryland back home after taking care of a customer here, what are you doing? I'm gonna go sign up for the hot yoga. Okay, I haven't heard anything from the dealership. Okay, well, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just sharing with you that I don't think that truck will be ready till two or three o'clock, personally. Okay. So, uh, go enjoy yourself, and I'll just see you later. Okay, bye. Bye bye.